you and me both have something in common. We're both a little bit like Pickle Rick. How, you might ask? Find out now. Hey guys, Johnny here, and I'm trying out a brand new segment today. This is entitled, Life Lessons from Television Shows. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. When you were younger, your parents always wanted you to go outside and play. They wanted you to use your mind. They wanted you to do anything but sit away and rot and decay in front of the television. However, most of us are grown up now, and... TV has changed. I think there's a lot of important life lessons that we can actually glean and grasp from today's television shows. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about today is Rick and Morty. If you guys are fans, I think you're really going to enjoy this. So, Season 3, Episode 3, entitled Pickle Rick. My point today is, I think it shows something very relatable. It shows something that makes me realize that I'm a little bit like Pickle Rick, and I think you guys realize that you're also a little bit like Pickle Rick, too. So the episode opens, Beth and the family are supposed to be going to therapy. It's very clear why they need therapy, although most of us do, truth be told. Now, she comes to find out that, of course, good old fucking Rick has turned himself into a green fucking pickle. That's right. Now, of course, he conveniently forgot that he was supposed to go to family therapy. And, of course, Beth also realizes in the back of her mind and almost immediately that this is bullshit, this was no accident, Rick is just trying to get out of an uncomfortable circumstance, which makes sense. It's only human nature, you know? We want things that bring us joy, that make us happy, that give us pleasure, whether it's the food, the drinks, whether it's, you know, TV, whether it's movie, whether it's another human being, whether it's sex, whatever it is. As humans, we are geared towards the positive, we want to feel pleasure, we want to enjoy ourselves. It's just natural. It makes sense, right? Why would we want to, you know, feel negative emotions, feel sad, you know, anything. It just, it makes perfect sense for us. So, I think that it's very interesting that right away, again, Beth notices this, and it just, to me, it makes a lot of sense because... I think each of us has those things that we know we're supposed to do, and yet we would do just about anything to get out of doing it. You know, me personally, I have actually been to therapy. It's not fun. I would do a lot of stuff to get out of therapy, you know? I mean, for you, who knows? Maybe it's eating healthy. Maybe you don't want to eat vegetables and fruits and all that shit, and you'd rather cram a big fucking double bacon cheeseburger down your throat. And I totally get that, because I also, I don't love eating healthy either, but... As humans, those are just, there's certain things that we have to do, and I think when you come to the realization and you jump over that hurdle, I think you end up in a better place. Kind of like Pickle Rick. Went through this giant, crazy ass, you know, adventure all the way to get to going to therapy. And there was a little bit of a breakthrough, I think, you know, Rick actually did talk about his emotions a little bit, and I think that it's important for us to remember that just like Pickle Rick, we can also overcome certain obstacles. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this so, so much. If you liked it, make sure to hit that big fucking like button. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more great content coming along. Make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see me do some other television series, of course, I would love that. Next up is probably going to be Game of Thrones or something else related. And again, I love you. See you next time.